So what we have here is a leg of specially selected pork. As you can see, the hip bone has been removed from it. We've got one long thigh bone in the middle here, connected to the shank. And as you can see, slightly different thicknesses, thinner end for the rump is here. What we want to do is remove the top side muscle, which will then utilize that as a mini roast, leaving us a thinner piece of leg, which will give more even cooking. So the first thing we want to do is remove the shank from it. And to do that, there's one little joint we're going to go through. And we'll leave a little bit of meat in the back, just so that it gives plenty of meat if slow cooked afterwards. And we'll leave that to one side. So we've now got one seam that we want to go down here. This is the top side piece and the seam will run along here. One thing to note is that there's only skin on the back of this muscle. There's no skin on the front. And later on, what we'll do is we'll take the skin away and leave one nice lean roast. Just using the tip of my knife to find the seam there and using my left hand to pull the top muscle back. So there's very little cutting going on and minimal damage or potential of damage to the meat. Now as I go in there, you can see this is where the thigh bone is. And we've now found the seam just down the back there. Seam cutting is very, very important as every muscle on the leg, of which there's about four or five, will eat very slightly differently. So one of the main benefits of seam cutting is that if cooked properly, you're almost always guaranteed a tender roast. So what we've done now is we've got the top side muscle and we've got the rest of the leg a lot more even in thickness. And what we can do is trim this up and do it as a lovely roast that will cook evenly all the way through. But what we're going to deal with is the top side muscles. And as you can see at the back, there's fat and there's skin, where there's nothing at the front. But what we want to do for the purpose of this is turn it into a lean mini roast. So first thing we want to do is get our knife down and start to remove this skin. One of the reasons for removing the skin is that the top side muscle has a cap on it and it's this thin piece of meat on top here. Now that, which I'll show you by taking it off down the seam, is a long grainy muscle and it won't eat quite as nicely as the rest of the top. So by removing this particular muscle and utilising it elsewhere, it's leaving us with one really nice solid muscle which then gives an even cooking and eating experience. But we can utilize this later on. The other thing to look at here is where there's another seam down the top, which we just want to find and go down. And again, we'll use, utilize this later. And that's a lovely bit of top side. So what we want to do is remove all of the sinew and any strands that won't be nice to eat. Any little bone shards as well, we'll take away. And that will be waste. So if you want, you can now square this up. And again, utilising these parts later on for a nice pork stir fry or whatever you wish. And we'll just take a little more of this. And what that leaves you with is a lovely, pure lean topside roast. So, fat, skin obviously helps the cooking process. And we have a lean piece of meat. It could be sliced into a scallops. But what you can do is cut a portion of this skin and fat to size, sit it back on 
and leave that for the cooking process. So we've taken it away to make it a better eating quality at the end for the customer, but you can always put it back on for the cooking. As it stands, we're going to leave this as it is. And I've got some trussing bands to put around it here. And all these trussing bands do, instead of tying with string, is help it to keep the shape. The muscle itself doesn't really need it because it's not going to fall apart. It is one solid muscle. But what the trussing bands allow is the meat to naturally expand when cooking, resulting in less of a moisture loss. And obviously the moisture content in this is at a premium with it being so lean. So there we have a pork topside joint roast for two to three people.